Did you know that a vast majority of your emotions and behaviors have their roots in the subconscious portion of your mind? What is this subconscious? We are all aware of the conscious mind, though we may not be able to control it fully well. Yet, the ideas, desires, aspirations, aversions are perceived by us. There is another aspect which we are not even perceiving. That is the subconscious. It's like a huge hard drive containing images, memories, experience from infinite past lifetimes. And they impact our personality in a tremendous way. Consider for example, somebody suffers from claustrophobia. This lady cannot understand why she has this abnormal fear of closed spaces. The reason is, when she was a four-year-old, she went into a lift by herself. The power went off and she was forced to remain in that lift for a full one and a half hours. Now that was an experience of the conscious mind. The perceptions she was aware of at that time. Slowly, the conscious memory faded away. But the experience remained in the subconscious hard drive. And that is why the moment she perceives the threat of a closed space, she breaks into a sweat. And she can't figure out why is this claustrophobia happening. Its roots are in the subconscious. So let's try and understand how this conscious and subconscious communicate with each other. Compare them to workers on a ship who are in the engine room. They have no access to see outside. The captain of the ship is on the deck and he barks out orders to the mariners in the engine room. Step on the gas. Do this. Do that. They obediently obey. Like the captain is our conscious mind. And like the mariners in the engine room is the subconscious. With our conscious mind, we speak to ourselves. We experience perceptions. And these go deep within. If, for example, somebody keeps on telling himself, I am useless, I can never succeed, there is no way I can do this. That kind of self-talk programs the subconscious, which then becomes convinced, I can never win. And every time a challenge appears, the subconscious tells the conscious, you cannot do it. This person has developed a defeatist mentality. And how did that mentality come? The subconscious was programmed by his self-talk. So the self-talk that we do can program our inner being to our benefit or disadvantage. Some people say, self-talk? Do I talk to myself? All the time. I have seen people talking to golf balls. Come on, come on, three feet left, get in. Ah, you made it. So when people talk to golf balls, will they not talk to themselves? All the time, there's a mental chatter going on. I am happy, I am sad. Now, if we want our subconscious to work to our advantage, we will have to be very careful about the messages that we convey to it in our conscious mind. Hence, the transformation of our inner 
subconscious requires the proper control of our conscious mind. If we can utilize the potential of this tool, we will find that we can very easily program ourselves to be positive, optimistic, hopeful, cheerful and joyous. These wonderful things will be very well within our reach if we can tap into the potential of the subconscious. Like this, I have discussed many tools for inner growth and external success in my latest book, Seven Mindsets for Success, Fulfillment and Happiness. Do look it up on its Amazon page.